Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with a weekend review of my freeze gang, freeze stash dive and freeze activities. Basically, the most important thing that I have to report is that I haven't spent any money on supplies. I've been intentionally digging almost 100% into my Christmas supplies. Uh, as I mentioned last time, I did a couple of uh, purges uh, earlier in the, in the year and got myself down to where all my Christmas stuff, including my dies and stamps and uh, embossing folders and the like, were all, if, all fit in one rolling cart. So um, using that rolling cart, intentionally trying to mix up older supplies with newer supplies, kind of having some fun with that. I've made uh, all my layouts in, since I joined, and I think I joined end of November. So this week, and, and I'm counting, I did my um, review last Saturday on the 8th, and is that right? Um, last Friday on the 8th. I guess I, I counted up to the 8th. I included the 8th uh, layouts I actually did on the 8th. I think these were there. I think I did this one on, uh, on camera. So those were in my last review. Since then, I've done 11 layouts uh, from the 8th through the 13th. That's it. And I did one for uh, uh, weeks ahead for Challenge Accepted that goes live on the 19th and one for Challenge Accepted that goes live on the 26th. One for um, Christina Day uh, using the 10, um, uh, 10 items, I think, was that. Then I did seven lifts for Scrap Squad's 12 uh, days of Christmas scrap lifts, and I did two extra lifts for one of those, and I'll show you those in a minute, and I did one extra lift for another. So let's go through, and I'll kind of try to tell you what's what. This layout I did um, for Challenge Accepted, and it is according to this sketch, and I'm just going to kind of wave it by you, and I'll show it to you again later when I show you the companion page I made as one of the scrap lifts for uh, 12 days. And this one was for challenge accepted for the 19th. And again, this one doesn't go live uh, yet. It's using the 10 items from the November secret, not secret uh, party. So again, I'll, I'll kind of wave that one by you quickly. Won't go into that. This is one I did for um, Christina Swords Day on the 9th of every month. All of us who are, are part of her uh, wonderful world um, do something in tribute to her. And I subscribed this year again to the Advent Calendar box. And this little cut file and the Project Life cards that are backing the cut file came in my kit for, I think, day three. And I went through my supplies, matched things up to what I'd been given, uh, punched some, some things out of uh, the cards, um, and, and used what I think is one of the cutest pictures ever of my sister and, um, at the time, my uh, three grandkids. This is Allie, who was our step-granddaughter and, and still our granddaughter, and Katie and Barrett. And we, this was, picture was taken a day after we learned that Ava was on the way. So that was, I love this, this picture and the memories that it kind of brings up. Okay. So those are ones that I didn't do for the um, 12 Days of Christmas scrap lifts. I wish I had thought to print, well, maybe I did. These next two are two very different pages, but done from the same inspiration lift. This was the original, and this was what I did with basic gray supplies, tags, and so forth. It's, uh, and I, you know, used a Boxing Day name, and this one's knackered, showing our cat all tired out after being played with with the grandkids. So those were two I did on December 8th 
for the day um, eight of the 12 days. This was December 9th, and, and the, um, the original was this ho, 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 happy, um, and, and I, I picked my papers to go behind it before realizing that they had the same, two of the papers that I used right here. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. So that was day nine. Day 10, well, and I don't have the original here, was a very cute uh, kind of crisscross axis, the um, uh, meant to look like a wrapped package, and those were the ribbons, and there was, um, there was a cut file back there. I used a, a doily and all kinds of cute things. This was Ava's first Christmas. It was her first mistletoe Noel, Santa, Christmas holidays, stocking packages, chimney, reindeer lights, glitter, tinsel, and eggnog. Basically <laughs> everything to do with the holiday season. Okay, so that was on the 10th. On the 11th, the original lift was this one that had some trees all in a circle and there's some circly bits around the circle and some various um, embellishments. And so I did this one, um, basically replacing the circly bits with the Christmas lights and cutting trees out of um, cut apart cards. Uh, I cut the circle on my silhouette as well as this Santa and backed it with the same paper I used for one of the trees and called it Santa I Was Good. And then I, I thought, well, I have a couple other photos of kids on Santa Claus's knee. Why don't I do something similar but different? So using a completely different collection of supplies, I used the circle that I cut out of the last one. And this was a, a funny picture of Ava and Santa Claus. And it was at, uh, I forget where it was. But anyway, there were a couple of strange people uh, behind her in the photograph that were not part of the, the, the family, or, nor the experience. And so I fussy cut it out, leaving a border, and then I went over it with black pen to make it, to give it some dimension and depth and make it look like it kind of belonged inside my snow globe. I used some real wood um, a sheet of real wood paper there. And then I did another one with basic gray supplies on top of a Webster's Pages circle of gold stars. This took about five minutes to put together some stickers from the Jovial collection and this uh, paper cut from the Dasher collection and then miscellaneous things for my staff. So those three were the same, working from the same um, inspiration piece. This is the second page. This was done on the 12th, and this was the original that we were to be inspired by. This, I have since learned, is a Martha Stewart punch, and I must have this punch, so I'm going to go on a search for it. Um, I used hearts instead of those little things. And it's meant to be a follow-on page to this one that's going live on the 26th. Not a two-page spread because it doesn't connect in that way, but it uses many of the same supplies. I did the world's worst um, shaker element because I put the Santa on foam and made him too close to the... Um, cellophane to for these things to move around but I have an idea for fixing that and before it goes into an album I will fix it okay so that's what I did again I didn't spend any money I have um, I have received um, in subscriptions I've received this um, Bramble Fox Fox box I, some of these are last month's supplies but it's got some really cute little uh, trees, and somewhere there's a little package of houses. But, and I've got lots of ideas for using those. Um, and I did get a, um, a package of the entire collection of Paint Fresh um, liquid watercolors, and I intend 
to open that box and play with those today. And I will probably use that for my getting messy segment on um, at the Secret Not Secret party later this month. So I need to kind of figure out what it is they do and what I can do with them. So happy stash busting and, um, and, and, and freeze. I, I'm enjoying shopping in, in my own stash for, uh, for goodies for my layouts. This has been wonderful. So great group.